All right. Speaking of politics, the Iowa caucuses are less than three weeks away, and the Republican hopefuls came out swinging at last night's debate. Donald Trump and Ted Cruz exchanged jabs all night, but it was Cruz's remark about Trump's so-called New York values that has the country talking. Everyone understands that the values in New York City are socially liberal or pro-abortion or pro-gay marriage, focus around money and the media. New York is a great place. It's got great people. It's got loving people, wonderful people. When the World Trade Center came down, I saw something that no place on earth could have handled more beautifully, more humanely than New York. Caitlin Huey Burns of Real Clear Politics joins us from North Charleston. Caitlin, Ted Cruz's remarks about New York are getting a lot of traction today. What's the impact? Well, I actually think this was one of the strongest moments that Donald Trump has had on the campaign so far. Um, he really, uh, Ted Cruz really teed that, that segment up for him, and he really responded and actually got uh, Ted Cruz, actually landed a punch on Ted Cruz, I think. Uh, Cruz did have a lot of strong moments, especially earlier in the debate when he, debate when he fought back against those uh, citizenship eligibility questions that Donald Trump has raised. But when it came to the New York values, question Donald Trump had the last word was there a clear winner you think between Donald Trump and Ted Cruz well, I think each accomplished what he needed to in this debate. Uh, Ted Cruz made clear that he is ready to engage Donald Trump. Remember, he's been very reluctant to do so over the past several months, hoping to kind of draft behind him and eventually inherit support. And now he is looking at the possibility of Trump uh, doing well in many of these early states. And they, the two are really neck and neck in that key caucus state of Iowa. And so I think Ted Cruz's mission was to to uh, really get one on uh, Donald Trump. And I think Donald Trump needed to really, uh, you know, maintain his, uh, his lead and kind of show that he is still on top of things and is, is really um, upping his game a couple weeks ahead of the caucuses. Caitlin, Trump was on MSNBC from Iowa today and he was heckled by protesters. Take a look at this. Well, you Donald intend. Trump, stop the hate. Oh. It's minus 80 out there, <laughs> and their meteors coming down. Throw them out and take their meteor helmets off. So you off. and Ted. So the hosts there having a little fun, kind of you know, that's typically what you'd hear from Donald Trump saying, "Throw them out." But he sat there perfectly at peace, didn't have his feathers rumpled at all. He had a smile um, on his face. Yeah. <laughs> what do you make of his yeah. reaction? Because a lot of people are talking about how composed and the somber tone that he had last night. Right. Well, it's not a Donald Trump appearance without some kind of protest. Um, I think he's really used to it by now, and he has come under fire for the way he's handled protesters uh, in the past, especially recently at a rally in uh, in Vermont. Um, but you know, last night was noticeable on Donald Trump's part because he's sounding and appearing more like a presidential candidate. He's still really tapping into that that anger and frustration in the electorate. Uh, he's still presenting himself as a non-traditional candidate. But at the same time, he is starting to, um, you know, become more uh, presidential. And he's realizing that, you know, now is, is really the key time in the campaign. He has to turn out voters and he has to turn out uh, some new voters that he hopes to bring into uh, to the party. Caitlin, what about the quote unquote establishment candidates? They clashed over their conservative records. Did any of them perform well enough to be seen as an alternative to Trump or Cruz? Right. The establishment or kind of mainstream Republican lane is very crowded. Um, and each of these candidates, Marco Rubio, Jeb Bush, John Kasich, and Chris Christie, uh, each had a mission to break away from one another. And I think uh, if you look at Marco Rubio's performance, especially towards the end of the night, I think he really established himself um, as kind of on, a, on another, uh, trying to break away. I think he, if that was his goal, I think he, he met that. He uh, not only 
went after Chris Christie, but also uh, the man that he hopes to really compete against um, eventually, which is Ted Cruz. And towards the end of the night, he got in a really heated um, debate with the Texas senator, and I think that was one of the strongest moments of, of his performance. I also think that, you know, Chris Christie could be a wild card here. I do think that, depending on how well he does in New Hampshire, um, he, you know, needed to uh, maintain his presence on the stage last night. All right, Caitlin Huey Burns of Real Clear Politics, thanks so much for your analysis. Thank you.